the show you know when people started writing about Cheryl Cole and Paula Abdul and so on now finding cyclical patterns in search volume data uh, is very interesting because it can tell you when you want to start marketing your product or service when there's going to be a lot of demand and you can also use Google Trends to search for more than one item at a time and I'm sort of demonstrating both here uh, we've got five search terms gifts flowers chocolate fireworks and costume and you can find that flowers sort of peaks around Valentine's Day uh, fireworks tends to peak in the middle of the summer mainly because the 4th of July in America gets uh, a lot of searches and lots of airplay lots of uh, news uh, costumes again tends to peak around Halloween because countries like America Ireland Britain Germany have uh, Halloween parties and people dress up in fancy costumes and so on but you can also use this to analyze trends and show where your product or service might be better aimed at a specific place uh, at specific times of the year. Now let's say we change this, let's say I look at the search volumes for India for example. We can see, if I just scroll down here, that the pattern for flowers it goes up a bit at the beginning of every year as do gifts but also you notice here that fireworks tends to peak around the end of the year when people buy fireworks for Diwali uh, as do chocolate that's the beginning of the year as well and so on so you can use this data to uh, tailor product launches or to tailor campaigns aimed at specific markets at specific times of the year. Have you ever wondered how popular something is compared to something else? Well search volume is a great indicator. Now if we compare Google, Yahoo and Bing for example we can see the cultural shift over time in online searching. In fact we can even pinpoint the month and it's you can see right here where Google and again here where Google overtook Yahoo in terms of search popularity. You can also see that Bing is just a small line on the graph because it's so new but you can also see that it got popular when it was first launched but it's flatlined ever since so in short there are many different ways that you can use Google Trends to mine search data to do better research and these are just a few examples to get your creative juices flowing